say, y'all, I was just in the bathroom, and this dude had to have the most vocal bathroom experience of my life. This my man walked in the bathroom. What's good, family? It's been a minute, you know what I'm saying? But uh, it is chest day in the gym for your boy. I'm rocking my Forever Motivated gear, you know what I'm saying? Go to forevermotivated.com, pick that up, holla at your boy. All right, so what you're looking at is me trying to figure out how to get my head under this bar so I can do decline bench press. But I never figure it out. So what I do is I get my big behind up and I go to the flat bench because that's what I'm used to. So uh, anyway, the goal of today is to um, really stress the muscle, right? So we can develop it, so we can get some uh, galactic acid in there. And if you build that acid up enough, you'll grow you some muscles, you feel me? So we're doing a lot of reps, doing a lot of sets. I get a little heavy, but you know, that's just, you know, I like to, I like to test my strength every now and then. So what you're gonna see is um, pretty much just a whole bunch of reps. We repping out with um, different weights. I think I start with 135, I move up to uh, 225, and I'm creeping the rep range around 10 to 12. Um, if, you, if I leave all the footage in, it might be 115 in there from the 225. But um, right here you're seeing 315 it's going up pretty smooth but uh it's going up smoother i found myself losing strength uh the more reps i do obviously that's like basic math but um i kind of just like having a more flexible body shape than when i'm lifting heavy the heavier i lift the more i want to eat and you know obviously the bigger you're going to get but um i'm still able to push that which is um three 65 65 only got one for that but um here i'm moving on uh to a plate loaded machine one of my favorites uh just again you're isolating just your, your top part of your chest which is going to keep you keep you from injuring yourself most of all you know what i'm saying you don't want to snap nothing up especially moving on heavy weight you know once you start getting past three plates you really want to start focusing on safety and longevity and uh i noticed when i use these machines i'm saving my elbows too like uh I, I'll, I'll start getting elbow pains if i'm benching way too heavy or if i'm uh, dumbbell benching way too heavy i'll snap everything up straight up um here we have the decline so the decline bench that i couldn't fit in they have a machine for it so that's just working the bottom of your chest here I'm getting towards the end of the workout and I'm using uh, a pick fly and I, I want to do it one at a time so I can pull that arm across and I just feel a deeper stretch and what I'm doing here is I'm just focusing on stretching the muscle it ain't about like picking on heavy weight but feeling that muscle contract in a different place and I just activated it in the last uh, movement so you know that's really what it's all about you want to be a well well rounded in how you're activating all your muscles you don't just want to come in there and do the same thing every day you know that's going to also be super boring plus i'm fly look at the socks look at the shoe coordination it's so fly no i'm not playing everybody in the gym is looking jealous they like that that's a duper duper fly kind of fella i'm like yeah anyway back to the workout um, this is what I call the finisher. So what I do is I, I incorporate all parts of the chest. Um, I go up for 10, uh, in the center for 10, and then down for 10, lower chest for 10. So here again, weight, you want it to be slightly difficult, but you want to be able to complete the workout. And with this finisher, I promise you, you'll kill your chest off, and there will be no doubt that you will be huge. You will be a swole, swole individual fooling with this so again after you finish any workout if you are fat and you know it i'm gonna need you to go do yourself some cardio at least 30 minutes me i only had time for about 20 25 this day 
I had to get to class. But um, yeah, man, that's about it for the workout. I hope you guys enjoyed this portion of the video. If you don't, um, I'm sorry. Bye. I can hear my granddad from way out here, yo. What is he doing? What's this man talking about, G? <laughs> Guess what? Old, old Trump almost unfired everybody in the State Department. That ain't good, Papa. <laughs> it's time to eat, guys. And uh, today's meal, we're gonna have sweet potato fries and meat, ground turkey meat. Um, we have our turkey meat seasoned up. Uh, I'm gonna mush all this stuff together. We have basil, um, chive, um, salt, pepper. Let's get busy. When it comes to eating, this is gonna be my first meal. It is 12.35. Um, again, I worked out fasted, which means I just had my vitamins and my uh, pre-workout this morning. Um, no actual uh, substance. So this meal, I'm actually doing a little different. Like I ate all that beef from uh, the last video or the last time I ate. I ate all that beef. This time I'm not eating uh, the whole however much is in here, pound, whatever. I'm not that hungry today for some reason, but I'm making me a patty. I'm gonna save the rest of this, put this in the fridge. Hey y'all, man, I just wanted to talk to y'all real quick about, about being pissed off, man, and being angry. What I was thinking about when I just got pissed off when I got angry is, I was thinking about David from the Bible. I don't know if you guys know who David is from the Bible, but David from the Bible was honest with God. You know, he didn't bottle it in. He didn't fake it. He didn't put sugar on it. David said in Psalms, God, I want you to let my arrows strike my enemy in their face. God, I want that my enemies slip and fall and their heads hit a rock and it gashes their head open. That's how honest David was, you know. You know, an enemy is a person that has set their self against your betterment, right? Against your ability to be successful. This person has said, I don't want you to be successful right here. They made yourself, they made themselves your enemy. So, you know, when you're on the road and this guy, or this gal is driving in a fashion that could potentially kill you. You know, they're driving, they cut you off or their, their car nearly uh, hits the nose of your car while you're driving down the freeway, hitting at high speeds. They're almost killing you. And, you know, I use my horn and in my head, I wish, hey, man, I hope your car flips a couple times. I don't want you to die. Just want your insurance to go up and you to go through the hassle of getting a new vehicle. But hey, it serves you right for almost killing me. And I feel, I felt bad after I told God that. I was like, that's not right. I shouldn't say or do things like that. So guys, you know, talk to God when you're angry, man. Sometimes it'll help you. All right, um, you entered any shows this year? Of course I have. Oh, really? Do you plan on winning them? Of course I do. <laughs> Not a five minute, because <laughs> you'll never beat me. <laughs> Ever. <laughs> In your life. <laughs> what a horrible craft to pick up. Painting. <laughs> you should have waited till I died to start painting. <laughs> Cause shit never gonna be. <laughs> that sure is a sad story. <laughs> Y'all yeah, look at him painting. <laughs> He's doing good though. Y'all yeah, pray for my brother. He needs it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Did you ever paint better than me? You lost it. <laughs> this guy's crazy. Follow me, follow me on Instagram. Follow me, follow me, follow me, follow me on Instagram. Follow me, follow me, follow me, follow me, follow me, follow me. Twitter by Charles Gray. Follow me, all by Charles Gray. Instagram, follow me. Twitter by Charles Gray. I said, follow me, follow me, follow me, follow me. Instagram, follow me, follow me. Skirt, skirt, skirt. Twitter.